a woman makes a good blacksmith because she can prove to the world that you don't have to have a heavier hammer. It's about knowing what you're doing with that hammer, with the metal, rather than the brute force using the finesse and the, the brain. <laughs>Coming as one, but standing as the 10,000 who came before them. These are the women paving their own path, defying stereotypes, and breaking a lot of glass ceilings. I'm Noor Tagori, and this is A Woman's Job. So the first step for the nail is to draw out a nice long taper, and I want it to be more pointy. Here's my first nail tonight. You can pass it around if you want. So we just made the first nail of the class, which is typically the beginner's class. Um, steps, not very beginner to me. <laughs> Lisa Geertsen is a woman who forged her own path with, well, a forge. It's not really common to come across a blacksmith these days, but women blacksmiths are especially tough to find. In the field, women make up only 5% of sheet metal workers and 1% of metal tool makers. And because blacksmithing is steeped in masculine stereotypes, Lisa raises a lot of eyebrows. Have you ever had people doubt your teaching abilities and the skill? Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you kidding? Well, I'm a petite woman. Really? You're a blacksmith? <laughs> I like to challenge myself, so I would see someone doing something and say, I want to be like that. I want to be able to do that. I want to be as strong as this man. I want to be able to do what that man can do with this body. It's pretty fun. You guys will get to play tomorrow. Try the smaller stuff first. Okay. Here is the nail that Lisa made, and I'm going to replicate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like actually, I'm really nervous right now. I'm not joking. Can you feel it? Yeah. Okay, you're hitting it in the same spot every time. I mean, it's like it's like a process of gaining confidence. Yes, exactly. Being able to do this has given me confidence. I'm able to do this, so I can stand next to men who can do this too and do just as well. And before, you know, I wasn't, I, I had no clue that I could do this, you know. And I, I always had it in my mind to be a teacher, so it makes it, Maybe more satisfying that I'm able to be a blacksmith and teach that to other people. My first thing that I've ever forged, and I'm feeling stronger than ever. Do you see this field growing and like being more welcoming to more women blacksmiths? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think within the last five years or so, especially, there's been a lot more women getting interested in blacksmithing. Mm -hmm.